Hi, I'm Nadia Mutlig, and I'm part of the Robotics Institute's Summer Scholars Program. This summer, I got to work on exploring parameters and successful goal form gaze predictions. Human-robot collaboration is becoming more and more common across different industries and fields, like healthcare and manufacturing, and that's mainly because these robots allow people to do things that would usually be difficult to do or even impossible. And one interesting application of human-robot collaboration is actually in assisted robotics, because these robots can actually empower people to complete activities of daily living. But the thing is, the way that these robots are typically operated is through teleoperation, which means that a user manually controls the robot using a joystick. And these joysticks can be hard to use and in turn make teleoperation difficult. So there's been some work on seeing if using intent recognition can make that process easier. Um, these intent recognition models are typically focused on using the joystick's input to generate probabilities of what the user's goal is in the scene. But it's not always the most accurate and has had some limitations. And because of that, it's become important to find other signals that can be used to establish the user's goal or their intent. One of these signals is gaze. It can tell you what people are looking at in a scene and what's important to them and what isn't. And it can be considered an intuitive signal that doesn't really require more effort on the user's part. And that's why last summer, we worked on using eye gaze as an additional input to predict what a user's goal might be in a task. And using that prediction generated by the eye gaze input and the joystick input, allow the robot to assist with the teleoperation. But the thing is, eye gaze has limitations as well. While eye gaze is a powerful signal, it doesn't give you much context about the scene without labeling. It can be noisy when there are lots of items nearby. And sometimes while people are doing a task, they just don't look at their goals as much and they might focus more on peripheral vision. And that's made us ask the question of what parameters can be a proxy signal of more accurate goal from gaze predictions. To go about this, we decided to use an existing goal from gaze model based on the harmonic data set to answer a general question of how does the model's predictive abilities change as the task parameters change? We looked at 64 trials, some predefined parameters, and a metric to analyze. The harmonic data set is actually a data set which contains videos of users working with the robotic arm, as seen here, in a robotic eating task. This data set contains gaze information, it contains robotic information, and is a very rich resource for this project. The parameters that we set up we started with two. The first was the distance of the end effector to the goal, and the second was the uh, robotic control mode. So which mode was the controller in while these gaze points were made? And then in terms of metrics, we looked at the change in probability of accurate goal predictions. These graphs show um, how distance from the target interacts with the incremental probability for the correct goal. As in, as we get closer to the goal, how much more likely are we to get a positive probability gain? And this graph shows how the robot mode interacts with incremental probability for the correct goal. Now, generally, we don't have conclusive results yet, and we need to further analyze the data that we have. But for now, that's where we've gotten. Thank you.